Hey everybody, welcome back to Forbidden West. We are back at the base. And a couple cool things that we're going to do here. Obviously turning in uh, the Poseidon uh, sub-function. But also uh, the drones, which will be neat. That's fine. We'll talk to these guys maybe after talking to Gaia. Let's input. Let's put the drones in first, I'm just to see what here. happens. I see you have recovered Poseidon. There we go. More data for the dome. So if we select these, what happens? What the? Oh, like this one. cool. Okay. So it basically just makes this place feel a little bit more uh, not mechanical. <laughs> okay, that's really neat, actually. Let's do this one. That's just a cool little touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. That's that's way better. Oh, yeah, for okay. sure. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia, I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. What isn't, honestly? So there's a few people here now, and they're learning all about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen, before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. Okay. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. I mostly think it's just cool that you can make it feel like you're outside. When I but dove yes, down into research Vegas, is good too. I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved? Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Hmm. See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. Bye, Mom. Okay, these two trees are almost full. We will go into, obviously, some more of the, um, the active skills, too. But we're going to unlock all passives as much as we can in those two trees. 
Oh, there's somebody's playing strike here now. <laughs> so the old ones painted their faces with something called oh. makeup. Aaron. Like the car chip. Hey, look who's back. You find what you're looking for? I did. One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. <laughs> I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holo films, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. <laughs> you know, the Osiram like cool. shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. That right. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. Because <laughs> they're vegetarian. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. I better get going. All right. I'll be here yeah, if you need me. Hmm. Can't get anything this time. Aloy, you found another one of Gaia's subfunctions? Two down, one to go. I'm glad her healing can continue. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently, there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. Oh, that's reasonable. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. <laughs> Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. I better get going. Right. You've got that subfunction to deliver. Okay, so she said she unlocked some additional rooms as well. Just check what we can upgrade here. Glow blast, sharp shot, no. Firestorm, not really using. Uh, the lightning hunter bow we could do. The other ones, probably not. Turn this thing off again. Oh, hey! How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Oh, Since this is the exact... I made one about okay. how to... From Weird. Looks... Yeah. Just... His thing got reset. Just... Yeah. Huh. Huh. That door is unlocked now. Hey. Aloy. I hope all is... Well enough, under the circumstances. I'm holding up. Good. It must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal <laughs> themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. Wait till you see an iPhone. 
Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. <laughs> that sounds... kind of gross. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. I should get going. Back to my training then. Okay. So what are the rooms now? There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. Caterpillars and chrysalis. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there. We've to investigated check out these the too. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Let me in there. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. I'll take it. There's a Boku. What the hell? I wonder where this leads. Is this going to connect back to the server room, maybe? Huh. huh. Why? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, we need one here. I'm not sure where this is taking me, but it's going to be good. Yeah, that's me. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. What the? Huh, okay. So I guess we have another path. I don't know what purpose this is having just yet. Weird. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little bit. But there's something you need to tell me. 
While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, you know, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Go on. Yeah. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Hmm. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. So she has like really a sweet spot for her, her too. strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I get it. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away. Alone. So Tilda took a risk to shore that, right? Because she could have said something. She didn't. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings. Changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Were the paintings anything specific? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Probably downloaded all of Second Netflix. Around about a family who's kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis? Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Hmm. 
So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. You probably didn't when do I anything wrong. the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. She's just like a ball of nerves. Massive anxiety. I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. Nice. You never talk about him, but he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Let's sure. hope so, because that time's coming soon. But I won't hold my breath. Okay, Demeter. It's almost time. I will talk to uh, Varl real quick. Hey. Of course. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus, the same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Hmm. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? Maybe. But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe because Maybe. she was the clone, she thought she'd be able to kind of get her to do some more advanced stuff, but realized that that wasn't going anywhere and then just cut her off. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. At least he respects that. How's training? Discovering something new about our past every day. 
When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Yeah, it's Elizabeth pretty, Sobek sacrificed herself that's for the pretty world, dark. and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. Who knows if they have more? They probably I do. I should get back out there. Or we'll did. Be here if you need us. Or do. Or who knows? <laughs> we don't. We know nothing. We know nothing. Okay. We're out. Okay, so whereabouts are we? It's actually, we have a couple spots over here that aren't too far off. Um, we could go from the south. Or we could go, like, right along the, the path if we wanted. We could go a little bit from the north, perhaps. Why don't we do it from here? I'll make a fast travel pack. And then let me clear out... I want to remove this. And let's remove this for now. That's fine. Okay. Guys, um actually let, let's let's run to the let's run to the place before we wrap up today. I doubt we'll take anything on along the way, but might be a bit of a, a jaunt here, so let's see. Run, running through here with like our mount? Mm, not ideal. Not with our mount. I might just want to take over a smaller, more agile mount at some point. Get this from my stash when I need it. There was a patch recently. I noticed one of the things they added was uh, Aloy not referencing her stash as much. I guess some people are getting pretty annoyed by that. She is chatty, and on one hand, I'm like, okay, um, from my perspective, because I'm also talking, it's a, it can be a little bit much and a little bit interrupty, but um, I think if I was not narrating or commenting on stuff, I don't know if it would bother me as much. I especially find that she's helpful during um, like puzzles and things. She's generally providing pretty good info. Greenshine chunk. I wonder if that's going to be a. Um, as tall as towers. The stand of the sentinels. Oh, you know what? I don't think we even got a green shine chunk at the uh at the last thing that we were at. Okay, what is this? Why can I climb just to here?
Is this the you only thing? That drone to get it down. Like it stops halfway up. Maybe from over here. Another blocked path. I can't even get onto this thing? Okay, forget it. I, I find that sometimes the inconsistencies in the world of like what we could jump and what we could grab is a little frustrating. That's clearly something we should be able to jump up to and get, but... It's fine. Trap. That's a rebel outpost. I'll have to find whoever's in charge and take them out. The coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. Yes, they are. Let's hit this campfire. Oh, I'm under watch. Feels like we might be at the right place. Alright, so let's rest at this shelter. When we come back, uh, we're right next to Demeter, and hopefully we are able to find a way in. Guys, thank you so much. Bye for now.